Right, today we're going to take 3D Game Kit from Unity and we're going to retarget the Ellen character with your character, or my character I guess in this situation, which is not very intuitive, but uh, it's not that difficult to change either. You just have to know what you're doing. So just because I hate jibber jabber in these, we're going to get right to it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our 3D Game Kit. No, I won't be showing you how to download and install Unity or, or these assets. I'm also not going to show you how to plug your computer in or pay your electric bill. We're going to stick to the things that are relevant to this right here. There's other tutorials on how to do that stuff. That's not this video. First thing we want to do is we want to make sure we do not switch the animations to Humanoid before we switch the actual character of Ellen. So we want to go into the character models under Art. Switch her to a humanoid, but she's already a humanoid. Why does she start off as generic? It makes no sense. Then we take all of our animations at the same time. We switch the avatar to the Ellen avatar, and we hit humanoid on that also. We're then going to just test out to make sure that Ellen is working, make sure that we got everything switched to humanoid right, and there isn't a mess up already in our program. She's working all right, so now we're going to bring our Zila character, character I created in Daz Studio, into the scene. We're not going to actually drag her into the scene right now. We're just going to erase Ellen's body and skeleton, which I guess once her body is erased, she doesn't need the skeleton anyways. We're going to drag Zila's entire model into Ellen. I wonder if she's having an identity crisis right now. But no, we're not quite done yet because it should just work that way. It sh we should be able to just do that and not have to work with any code or change any code. First of all, we do have to change a couple things in the code, or I should say add something to the code. So we go to the player controller script. We go down to line, I think, what is it, about 150? And then we have this code that I will have in the description below. You're just going to copy this and paste it right in the same place I do. Why does this code work? I don't know. I also have no clue why eating pizza makes me so happy. Uh-oh, I tested and it didn't work right. Why? Oh, because she's still generic. Zila, you're not generic to me. So we switch her to humanoid and then we test her out. There she is, jumping around, running around. If you think she looks weird, don't mind her. I was extremely drunk when I created her. Just like with my children.